Hello dear Familienhaus friends. Today we want to talk about the International Week Against Racism and what to do in cases of racist discrimination or violence. This year the International Week Against Racism will take place from the time period from March 15th to 28th of March. Many actions will therefore take place online. The aim of the Action Week is to show solidarity with those affected by racist discrimination and violence and to inform people about forms of exclusion and to encourage people to take a firm stand against the rejection of certain groups of people and minorities. The Familienhaus supports the International Week Against Racism with full conviction and strength. We are committed to a peaceful coexistence and treating people with value and respect no matter what they believe in or how they look. We would like to encourage you today to sharpen your eyes for some thing very hidden and subtle, the very much forms of discrimination. We encourage you to stand for and protect those who are treated worse and cannot be protected by themselves because of external characteristics such as skin color, religion, language or origin. We would like to encourage you to no longer accept racist practices in everyday life and to take a stand against them. Especially the work in our migration counseling makes clear how many forms of discrimination are now considered normal. This shocks and saddens us very much. While physical racist violence against people is at least sometimes still reported in the media, covered discrimination is rather less of an issue. You're told not to be so prudish, not to be so sensitive. A landlord tells you that you can't get the apartment in that part of the town because there are already so many refugees living there. An application is rejected by the employer because otherwise only employees with a German passport are employed in the company. For an application, application an excessive number of documents are requested that have nothing to do with the, with the service. An accompanying person of your choice is denied to join access to office and official appointments. All these are examples of racist discrimination which you should not accept in that way. Because in addition to the first article of basic law, the dignity of man is inviolable. The third article is particularly of great importance. No one shall be discriminated against or given preference on account of sex, descent, race, language, nationality, origin, creed, religious and political opinions. No one shall be discriminated against because of his or her disabilities. But what to do if you have been victim of racial discrimination or violence, which happens every day? To relieve yourself, it is advisable to talk to other people you trust. These can be friends, acquaintances, but also employees of counseling centers. They will listen to you, support you in process of what you have experienced and can help write a memorial protocol. This is especially advisable in cases of hidden discrimina discrimination. In such a protocol, you should record what happened, when and by whom, what he or she said and what you said, what did hurt you about it and whether perhaps even other people who heard or saw the discrimination and didn't do or say anything. If you have been a victim of this crime, it is also still important to take pictures of any injuries or damage that was done to you. A doctor's exam should also be done to detect injuries that are not visible. Especially in the case of physical attacks, it is, a, it is possible that the police will come afterwards, either because you or others have been attacked. The police will then want to know what happened, who attacked you, and will also ask you who you are and where you live. You also have the possibilities to file a complaint directly. This is usual prerequisite for the offender to be punished and for you to be able to claim compensation. If you do not decide to file a complaint immediately because of the language or because you are in shock, you can do so later at a police station. For this purpose, you can also ask for an interpreter to translate the statement so you can understand the police and the police can understand you, so there are no misunderstandings. However, you absolutely do not have to cope with this horrible situation yourself. 
there are help centers that can support you. They are located in Erich Weiner Straße 30. But you can also reach the counselors by mail, phone, chat or WhatsApp. In Magdeburg, there's the mobile counseling for victims of right-wing violence. The mobile victim counseling supports you in coming to terms with what you have experienced. They look for ways to reduce your fear and accompany you to appointments that you do not want to attend alone. They will also support you in finding suitable lawyers or therapists. You don't have to go through all of this alone. In the case of covered discrimination that leaves no visible trace, such as proce procedures, is usually more difficult. Often there is no evidence to file a complaint or you don't dare to take actions against it. It is helpful to talk, a person who, to, talk to the person who discriminated you. You do not have to do this alone. In Magdeburg there is a counseling center called Entknoten. It is located at Brandenburger Straße 9. Brandenburger Straße 9. Um, and can also be reached by phone, email and WhatsApp. It is supports and advised, it supports and advises you in case of discrimination. So she can support you and contact the person who discriminated you. But also the writing of letters of complaints and legal advices on a possible lawsuit can be done there. Both counseling centers can call in interpreters if necessary, so that you can talk about what you have experienced in your native language, even if you still have a little knowledge of German. They work impartially and are on your side, so you don't have to pay any money. It is important not to simply accept exclusion, exclusion and violence. We are happy to support you in the migration counseling, and we would love to help you against discrimination, to establish a first contact to the counseling centers. No one should be treated worse because of their origin, beliefs or skin color. In order to carry this message into the world, the multi-generation house, the family center and the migration counseling, which all concludes the family house, have created a small action. We have designed buttons, which you can take from the fence of the family house this week. These buttons show in many languages that we do not believe in racist discrimination. We will stand against it. Feel free to take them and show that you share the same opinion. Only together we can do something against inequality. I hope you're staying safe and I hope if you ever experience racial discrimination, you are proud enough to stand against it. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. Goodbye.